Welcome back, Warriors, to my channel, guys. Today, I have a brand new video. We are covering Diablo 3. It is adding a game to the channel, guys. I'm so excited to be playing this game again, but today's video is going to be all about Diablo 3, my kind of like return to playing this game, and is right now in 2020 a good time to be playing Diablo 3. Let's jump right into it. All right, Diablo 3, guys. You guys can see in the gameplay behind me in the screen, that is me and my buddy Blake. We've been friends for a long time, and we've grinded Diablo since Diablo 1 all the way to 3. But the last time I played this game, guys, was literally 2016, I think was the last time I was actually playing this game. So I was struggling with Apex Legends, guys. I got kind of burnt out, so I've made the switch over to Diablo. This is going to be an additional game that we're covering on the channel. So I made the, the pick for Diablo because it's such a grindy game and I got a lot of topics that I want to go over today just to kind of help you put into perspective a returning player like myself to why you should be playing Diablo in 2020. So the first thing is, is that it's really easy to dive back into. It's literally like riding a bike, guys. If you play Diablo, whether you're a returning player or if you're a new player, like the casual experience for Diablo is very, very fun. It's very easy to pick up and play. Understanding the classes, items, gems, and weapons, all this stuff in the game is really easy to understand. It's a real grindy game, plus it's over the top. I play on PlayStation. I do have an account on PC, but we play on PlayStation mostly. So the console version is just a little bit different than PC, but overall is pretty much the same concept. The overall story of Diablo 3 is fantastic, guys. So if you do enjoy like the RPG-esque feel of games, Diablo has a great story with great animations. And that's one of the things that Diablo is crazy after being out for eight years is that the graphics is, you know, they actually hold up for being in 2020. The graphics hold up. The game is pretty cool considering the games that have come out lately and the graphics are just like out of this world. So another thing that makes Diablo 3 such a great game to return to if you're a returning player or a new player is that the devs over at Blizzard have really put a lot of effort into this game to do constant updates to make the overall quality of life of the game that much better. See, normally with games, especially with Blizzard, like after a while or they've been out for a long time, they just don't receive a lot of updates that, you know, the game is stagnant or it, you know, it's the same or there's just really no improvements. There's one meta. But Blizzard has made an effort with Diablo to con continuously improve the game with constant updates. Now, with that said, what makes it great is one of the best things that, you know, I've learned coming back to the game is all the different armor sets. See, four years ago when I was playing, there was armor sets, but there wasn't armor sets where, you know, you could pick almost any class in the game and just power level these, these you know, these class sets up, have an awesome set class, and just have fun at the higher levels. I think in the gameplay, we're on, like, T15 or something like that playing, I think. But, and, and we're using two totally different classes. Now, Blizzard has gone and made it to where you could pick any class in the game, you know, get a, a class set, and then level up and just have a really great time improving and just grinding those higher levels. Before, it was just a few classes where you were kind of stuck and you just, well, if I'm not playing this class, then I can't really go to the higher GRs or the higher torments. And it made the game really stagnant as far as like, well, I guess I'm stuck playing the Demon Hunter again. You know, when I really wanted to be playing, you know, the Wizard, for example. So I think that's a huge improvement on Blizzard's account is just trying to balance all these different classes and that leads me right into the seasons guys if you're new to diablo diablo has seasons every three to slash to four months roughly is that these these seasons come out you do start from scratch but the seasons are a real great way to grind up new characters get awesome rewards and then once the season ends you can bring those characters over to your normal or hardcore accounts and just use all them items you that you got you know i think it's a really great way to help players improve on the game you do get class sets depending on you know which you know class that you want to have at the end of the season with the rewards but i think the seasonal grind is just great especially for the hardcore players who are you know in day in and day out putting in the hours so i think the seasons is a really great way to expand diablo 3. Now, another reason to play Diablo 3, guys, just like what I've mentioned with the seasonal, is all the different game modes. There's unlimited opportunities and unlimited things that you can do in this game. You have the story mode. You have adventure mode that you can do bounties in, that you can do the regular rifts, you can do the greater rifts, and then you have the weekly rifts or weekly challenges that you can do in seasons. Those weekly challenges, it's a preset build, guys. You go 
pick that. You try to beat, you know, the best player's time, you know. But if you, you the main thing is just to complete it to get the rewards for the season, okay? So you have unlimited opportunities and unlimited things that you can do in this game to kind of help steer that boredom. But we're, we're going to talk about that a little later because I know you guys are probably wondering when I'm going to say something bad about Diablo 3. But that's going to be at the end of the video. Another thing to add on to that, guys, is that they, they, they have upped the bar, up the ante, if you will. There used to be only Torment 10 and then Torment 13, and now we're on Torment 16. Is the maximum highest level that you can attain as far as difficulty in the game. I can't wait to see what Diablo 4 has in store for us as far as difficulty levels. But Torment 13 is the bread and butter of the top of the top difficulties it's great that they keep in increasing the cap on top of these classes the power levels that you can have into this game and with that you have the greater rifts right just like we have in the gameplay here what's better than just grinding greater rifts for all the better gear okay so grinding the gear now you can go up to greater rift 150 150 is the cap but i think greater rift 100 is the bread and butter if you're doing greater rift 100s then you are literally the man you guys are just dominating you guys are the hardcore players so i think that there's so many different difficulties if you really want to challenge yourself you can in the gameplay guys me and my buddy blake we play hardcore pretty much all the time we don't do the vanilla or just regular characters but we do grind hardcore pretty pretty well so like having those level caps and something to attain and reach to go hey i challenged myself i completed it and then for us without dying is really really nice and just like in the gameplay guys diablo 3 you can play up to three play with up to three of your friends in diablo which makes this game awesome right what's better than playing any game with your buddies being able to squat up with one two or three of your friends get on the casual experience whether it's enjoying the story mode or grinding greater rifts i think diablo 3 is one of the funnest games to play with your friends and like you see in the gameplay me and my buddy blake we grind almost every day even if it's for a, you know an hour and that's another thing that makes diablo so great is that if you've understand the game and you're being and you've been grinding you can pick this game up play for an hour and then put the game right back down and pick up where you were the very next day it's not one of those games where you got to lock in for a few hours and just you know put all this time into you can pick it up and put it right back down Another thing that makes the game really great as far as grinding your power levels, guys, is that, you know, you have the primal ancient gear. OK, I if I remember correctly, I don't think I had primal ancient gear four years ago or if there was, I just didn't. I never had them. But the fact that there is an even higher cap when it comes to your items besides the rares, legendaries and then ancient sets. Now you have ancient into primal ancient, which is the best of the best in the game. So that's something else to really grind for. Diablo has been a really grindy game and it's very rewarding when you put in all this time and effort and you get these gears, you reach these levels that you want to attain. You know, it's very rewarding in that aspect. Plus, it's a lot of fun. As you guys can tell in the gameplay, we are killing these greater whiffs and we're having a great time doing it. I think that the Demon Hunter multi-shot build is probably my favorite build of Season 21. So it's a, it's a lot of fun playing this character and I can't wait to see what happens in Season 22. Now, when it comes to Diablo, guys, Diablo 4 is going to be right around the corner. So I also think that it's a great time to get back into the game if you're a returning player and if you're a new one because you're going to have a brand new Diablo game in the series, which is going to bring all brand new stuff on top of everything that you already know and love. So I think that Diablo right now in 2020 is a great game, especially if you're a grindy person like I am. I really like the grindy looter game. So you got like Diablo, the Destinies, you have the uh what is it the division games like that that are really grindy and rewarding for putting in the time and effort is really really fun and i think with the new diablo 4 coming out soon it's going to add another game to the series and i think picking this back up now is a great way to kind of mold yourself and be right into the thick of things leading into the next game now if you're watching this video guys you've made it this far you're probably asking yourselves well well, when is he going to talk about the bad things about Diablo? Now, I will say this, okay? There's not many ones because I actually do enjoy the game a lot. But there's a lot of things that can, you know, steer people off or get them bored out of their minds or, you know, just kind of go like, well, I'm kind of doing the same thing, rinse and repeat. And that's probably the only negative is that once you've hit level 70, you know, beyond that point, unless there's a particular set of gear that you want to get or... You know, unless you want to really grind the higher greater rifts or like, for example, I want to grind and reach Paragon level 1000. Unless you want to do that, that's pretty much the end of the game. Unless you want to grind and start getting that better gear. That's probably the only 
negative that I have to say about Diablo. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. This is our first Diablo 3 video that we're covering on the channel. And I'm really excited to add this game to the channel, guys, as it's something else for me to cover just besides Apex. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, as that really does help me out. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors. And then, as always, for me, Warlog, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.